Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Thea the Awakening. Now, our expedition, we are working on uh, bringing our goddess back to her glory, and we are about to go and hunt the beast uh, Svalrog, I think is what his name is. I may be wrong about that. I have been playing this, but I'm really bad with names. So, and I haven't been uh, trying to remember. So we are going to go and we are going to fight that beast. Uh, but before we do that, I've done a little bit of working around. Um, and you'll notice I have less science now because um, I have uh, purchased the Palisade Wall. Um, and we are going to be building one out of dark wood and iron. This is going to give me plus two uh, shield to all of my guys in the village. And it is going to give me um, 22 science is the real reason why I'm building it out of these materials um, and building it at all, actually. So um, we're doing that. And I unlocked it because what I want to grit is this, uh, Blessed Path, because this can expand the range that our village... Um, it can expand the range that our village can gather. As at the moment, it can only go here. But if we expand by one, we can get this fish. And we, if we can expand by another one, then we can get uh, possibly this meat um, and this uh, bird meat. So if we can expand two, um, we can have a lot more variety in the food that we gather so that we can guarantee that we can make more food without having to worry about bringing stuff back all the time. Um, while we will still have to venture farther out to get stuff like granite, um, possibly dragon bones, uh, if we unlock those, um, and other things, we can at least get a more of a variety in food so we can guarantee on um, having that variety. Uh, but that's not right away. I want to get um, some more science points. I don't know if we'll want to unlock some more um, armor or weapons before we do that, or... Uh, some other better resources. We might want to do that as well. Um, it's hard to say. Uh, so we're waiting a little bit. But I'm working towards that. So we'll get that Palisade wall up. And um, after we've made some stuff, I'll move some people over and we will work on that. But that is in the future. And right now we want to come over here and fight this thing. So we have five movement left. So let's just go ahead and start moving our way over. So there's a lot of baddies here we're going to have to fight. We can just auto-resolve them all. Just smash them all to bits. So move there. We don't have any food with us. So and we can't gather any here. So I think we'll just move one more forwards. Anything that attacks us will attack us. Looks like we got some bandits down here. Hopefully we don't get attacked by too much. Our people are a little bit wounded. And actually thinking about it, we probably should have made camp... Um, beforehand, but actually, you know what? Nobody has any wounds on them, um, which is amazing, actually. That's really cool. Um, and yeah, let us end this turn. We are attacked by bees. Auto resolve. Okay, awesome. And nothing else attacks us, really. Okay, cool. Well, um, production stopped. Yep. So, let's hop on over here real quick. Um, just take a look in here. So, these guys are crafting like that. If I pull you off... Alright, so I want you there. We'll want to finish that in one turn. We'll finish this and actually... I think I'm going to pull you up there to get that started. And she can work on that over time. Um, she doesn't produce very much very fast, but she'll work on that. It's not a massive priority to get it made so all right let's uh go and hunt this beast shall we Ooh, mushrooms so I'll hop on over we can't move in there holy cow that's a level three uh bandits and they are riding animals okay well um since everybody's at full health let's just go right beast in Simargo proved a difficult prey Despite his weakened state from the long sleep he was under, the world-devouring beast was ready to fulfill its destiny as it destroyed any life it came close to. Finally, you caught its trail, and you are certain he is within your reach. It is a Simargul, pardon me. Um, but let us get closer. True to the tales, Simargul is a sight to behold. 
His half-celestial, half-infernal form brings chills to your spines even before you see him fully. Among the shadows he traverses, his bright white eyes glimmer with the cold desire to devour anything and everything. Now is the time to act. So, you feel as well as presence upon you, and you know she will shield your uh, presence from the beast, so you may stalk it and hunt it down. We can do a three skull hunt. Um, it is time for the battle fight, a four skull fight, or. Well, uh, we'll actually come back later. So, I think we're going to do this the way Zuella would want us to, and that is we are going to hunt this thing down. So, let us go Indeed, and do that. Indeed, as soon as you make the decision, you feel a shroud of protection upon you as you slowly stalk your prey. All right, well, uh, become the hunters and get the prey. We are going to do a hunting challenge. Before I do that real quick, I just want to take a look... Um, Hunting. Hunt. Apply filter. So, backstab. Uh, so we got rain. So, so we've got uh, some range damage on most of our guys. Gathering is an effect in this. Um, animal kinship is also an effect in this. So we're going to do a three skull hunt. And we're going to hopefully uh, smash this thing up real good. So let's do this. Seven hunting. So a lot of our guys have zero. So that would be ranged. So range damage is... Um, I'm assuming the damage. Or is it just the shield? The support. We have quite a few supports. So um, we're probably going to be doing a bit of supporting. Um, I kind of want you. You have really high... You know what? It's gathering is... Uh, <laughs> Gathering is the combat in this. That's interesting. We have two nines and three zeros in our hand. We're going to shuffle, hopefully get another damage dealer. We lost the nine and got two ones. Not really what I wanted, but we're stuck with it. All right, these guys don't seem to have a lot of attack and damage, and we have a lot of health, so I think we should actually be good um, with that, actually. So... Counter tactics, counter offense. We can definitely counter offense on a lot of these. Should we counter offense right away, or do we want to worry about getting our guys out first? We have one first action. So we can first action you. We can first action Doris. So that's good. Um, I think we should worry about getting rid of stuff first. So you have a lot of good stuff, so we'll keep you. Let's use a counter offense and um, another counter offense. And then we'll, so we got rid of two cards. Let's see what he plays. All right, so that's all the offense. So you're going to be supporting ally now. Oh crap, I got rid of my first action, poop. I made a mistake. I made a mistake, guys. My bad. My B. Um, crap. Well, I guess we better um, send somebody out who's not going to die right away. Crap. Crap. I messed up. Big time. Big time mess up. Alright. Who can take a lot of damage? Um, Mick can take a lot of damage. So Mick will go out. He's got poison. We're going to support Mech. Ooh. So yeah, let's support Mech. That's... How much damage is that? Um, 22. So he's good as long as they don't uh, shoot, attack, get more on that. Um... Let's send Marco out next. What is he going to do? Get closer. Okay, good. So now, um, let's give Marco a bunch of damage. Send out uh, Jodvig. Support Jodvig, and then send out uh, 
our Goblin Warrior, and Doris. This is very inefficient because I messed up and I don't know what to, and I got very confused about what to do. So, attack, attack, attack. Mick kills off the wrong one, and he actually didn't even kill it. Good thing, uh, Marco did, and then Doris kills that. Good. So they are all dead, and now we just uh, attack the four that are in there. So one kill, good. Another kill, good. Uh, damage, we're going to kill off one more, it looks like. Yep, one more kill. Okay. Uh, reshuffle that, I don't like that hand. Alright. Bogna actually gained uh, attack. <laughs> Let's send her out right away. He'll play his one. Actually, we should have counter offense. Poop. Oh well. Sends you out. Um, and you know what? Just support Bogna and just skip. Um, that's right. This is. Yeah, skip phase. Yeah. Just kill it. We win. We hunted it, it down. Awesome. Cool. Like a bird of prey or a predator from the southern jungles, you masterfully stalk your unknowing prey. You pierce the beast's heart with a long spear, then tear open its belly to retrieve Zoria's power from Simargold's bloody guts. The world devourer cannot be killed, of course, but he is yours. You see a collar made of pure starlight appear next to you. Cool. So, uh, we got the dragon shooter. Holy cow. And Zwana got more animal kinship. So... A uh, shackle simul simargle. You place the collar on the beast's neck, and its body lights up with the power of thousands of stars. It floats into the skies, leaving you slightly blinded for a while. It will take decades, if not longer, for Zoria to truly rebuild her power, as she must now hold the beast as well, but you feel her presence growing nevertheless. You find some gifts from your goddess before you. Awesome! So we got another bow. So we got a hunter's bow, we got a bunch of scaled leather and 20 diamonds, and three of our guys got perception. So great, the Pantheon is strong as it... Great, the Pantheon is strong as it is. Before you depart, you see a goblin, garbed in leathers and carrying his head up high. I have answered the call of my lady Zoria. As a beast master of clan Toothbreakers, I was chosen to join your cause and aid you however I can. You feel he speaks the truth. Oh, we got a goblin. Holy cow. We got a goblin beast master. Great. Welcome, friend. Oh. Goblin beast master. He has 10 animal kinship, 2 gathering, 2 stealth, and 9 trap. Besides that, he's that his stats are not that great, but... We got another goblin. He. That's awesome. He's got a uh, monster skull shield. We can we we can give him some better stuff. That's for sure. Uh, what about these bows? So we got a hunting bow, which is six, uh, but it's very very light, um, six range damage, and a dragon shooter, which is thirteen. Holy butts. Well. Um. Oh, you know what? Remove the filter. He's got more than just those stats. Um, cool. Awesome. So we got a 13 uh, bow damage dragon shooter. Which is pretty awesome. Um, you know what? Uh, Yutvari. Here you go. Take that. Uh, Mick, you can go ahead and take, uh, Yeah, take that. And then, um... Nope, yours is better, Marco. Himmelslav's is gonna be better as well. Uh, Bogna... Uh, still can't have that. It's too heavy. Doesn't have enough weight. You have the awesome bow of awesomeness. Um, that one's lighter. Three, three. You can have that. There you go. There you go, Doris. You have a hunting bow. 
Um, and this other one. Nope. Don't think anybody can have it. Actually, I can give it to one of these guys. Let's give it to you. There you go. Alright. Cool! Awesome! Well, that is amazing. We've completed our uh, Divine's Quest. I'm going to make camp and gather those mushrooms because I really want to. Um, so, gather mushrooms. Mushrooms, mushrooms. That's 180. That will give me that. And we'll grab, gather some uh, wood as well. Throw those guys there and you there. Why not? Those guys don't have any gathering. Awesome. Cool. Um, well, we got bandits. We have a, a lot of uh, goblin scouting party. We got a bandit cap, a bat's nest, and a spider's nest. So we got a lot of nests and stuff we have to mine. Or um, take out. So how much... Uh, Okay, yeah, we have plenty of room, so we can kill all of those guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, just going to check on production here. So you're doing that, you're doing that. All right. Um, and I think we are good to end this turn. So, yeah. We've completed our Divine's Quest, which is awesome. I've never actually done that. Cools, cools. So we got these Goblin Scouts. I think we'll take down these Goblin Scouts. Um, I think we're going to start clearing, coming this way, clearing stuff. Work on clearing through as much of this and that as we can. Um, and then probably eventually work our way home. So, yeah. Uh, clear that. Go ahead and kill these guys. Uh, we're just going to fight them. Uh, actually, uh, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. A Y risk, a frontal, we can sneak or we can tactics. We're just going to kill them. It's just a three skull. Um, auto resolve. One damage to Mick. Yep. So that's how strong we are. A three skull auto resolve ended up with one damage to one of our guys. Now the beast nest is a four skull, so we'll have to do that manually. Uh, let's come down here. Let's kill these guys next. Fight. Uh, just auto resolve. No damage to us at all. And we get all this stuff. Awesome. Uh, we can make one move here. And then we're going to make camp again. And we're going to gather some more mushrooms. And actually, I want to gather some coal too. Ooh. Gather mushrooms. And let's see if we can get uh, one turn for coal. Unfortunately, it does not look like it. If I put Doris there instead of you... Nope. Unfortunately, we cannot get a full turn off. We cannot, we cannot get enough coal. So I will settle for uh, more mushrooms. Awesome. Okay. Uh, hop on back to Wolf Spa real quick. Production. Crafting. Uh, we'll put you there. Make that six turns. And if I put the spider on, we don't drop it. So we'll keep the spider off, and we'll actually put you there to drop this down. So you two can make a jerky. Can I swap their positions? No. It doesn't matter. Um, you guys will make up some jerky, and we can end this turn. Alrighty, well, um, I think we're going to end that there um, before we go in and start doing clearing out all this stuff but that is awesome we've actually completed the divine quest uh which is fantastic we're gonna uh, i'm gonna stop here and next time we'll probably clear out a bunch of this stuff we'll clear out these uh clear out the spider's nest clear out the stuff down here and then um we'll either uh come through here and up to here up to the village to drop off all of our stuff because I think, yeah, we're starting to pile on the things. Uh, we actually leveled up again. So take a look at that before we go. Lots more health. Awesome. Uh, and some more health and strength there and other things. Awesome, awesome. Um, but yeah, so in the next couple of episodes, we'll probably come up to the Cosmic Tree and work on uh, 
progressing towards the end of the game. Uh, so yeah, thank you all so much for uh, joining me in this adventure, and I hope to see you all in the next one as we'll continue uh, rebuilding from the death of Thea. And yeah, we'll see what else this world has in store for us. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!